All right, today I'm gonna be unboxing my very first item from The Row. So if you're interested to see what I think about this bag, my first impressions, and an overview on it, then just keep watching. Hi there, and welcome to my channel, I'm Liz. So today I wanted to do this unboxing so I could give my first impressions and I just got this in the mail yesterday so I, I actually wanna wear it today so I needed to film and I wasn't sure what it was because this box was so big when it arrived so I did open it and as soon as I opened it, on the box right there I could see it said the row so that is as far as I went because I wanted to film it. And so this is gonna be my very first item from the row and it is the Park Tote 3 bag in leather. So a really nice leather bag that I think would last a long time, but I do like to dabble in, you know, luxury brands. So, you know, I'm not gonna have a lot of tote bags. So I was like, you know, let me, this is like a two in one, let me get a nice tote bag and one from the row. I don't have anything from there and then that will be checked off my list. Okay, so a little thank you card and an enclosed, an envelope closed. It says the row on it. And it looks like it's kind of nestled in there. Okay, a <laughs> really large dust bag. This is probably the biggest purse I've ever purchased. And uh, this is a nice cotton. So not like a canvas, not a linen, just a soft, like nice cotton material that you'd want like, you know, your PJs in. And then there is just a little ribbon with the name brand sewed on there. I'm okay. I'm actually really bad about using dust bags. I have them all folded up. I don't even put my purses back in them. Okay, and here it is. So on very first impressions, I love it. I love the size. I love the feeling. It doesn't feel too heavy. I also wanted to get this, well one, big bags are in right now, but also they are practical. I kind of got rid of a lot of my big bags when my kids grew up because I did have to use a big bag when they were little because you have to carry all the things. So I would say like the last probably 10 years I've been carrying you know, a smaller bag and I do prefer that. But, you know, I wanted a bag that I could fit my laptop in and a water bottle, you know, when I'm moving about to just have all my things together easier. So I thought this would be a good option for those kind of days. Okay, so I did watch a couple videos on this and what I will say, I'm not easily impressed, first of all. Number one, it doesn't matter high end or low end. People said this leather is amazing and it is. Actually it is. And I have, you know, lambskin leather from some other brands, lots of calf skin from lots of brands. This is unique. It does feel different, real luxurious, real beautiful. Okay, so this says it's 100% le Italian leather, which is a lot of my purses, but I love how malleable it is. Okay, so it does have this little clip here on the strap which i actually like so you can kind of hold it closed a little bit better it does have the name brand really small here and i i kind of like the drapiness like i like the relaxed look it is not structured at all it has it looks like it's seamed on both sides here and then the bottom i may try to get a purse insert so you know, my items can be a little more organized in here. It does come with a little pouch as well. What's this? And then it does have this little card or envelope inside as well. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so it tells a little bit about it. Okay, so this little card has information about it that basically it's 100% leather on the inside and outside. And then a little card with a note I thought was interesting. It says, the row thanks you for having chosen this bag from our collection. Your bag was made in Italy by master craftsmen from skins which were individually selected with the highest attention. I'm reading this small print with no glasses, but very hard. A specific treatment was applied to bring out the natural qualities of the leather as well as to have it last. Creases, veins, subtle unevenness on the surface or seeming imperfections of the grain remain characteristics of natural leather with the intention to ensure that your bag will age handsomely. The row invites you to observe the following recommendations. And then it goes through with some care. You know, keep it away from rain, water, grease, perfume, makeup, moisture, 
all that normal stuff you gotta be careful with leather for. So I really like this pouch. I would probably keep my phone in there, but we will see. I'm, I'm actually gonna see if I could find an insert for this just to organize a little bit because I am just that type. I need a little more organization in there. So if you know somewhere that has a great insert for these type of bags, that'd be great. Okay, so the straps are kind of a flat leather. They feel great. I love that, so there's a little punch out here and it's kind of looped through. So the length is the length that it is. The straps are not adjustable and they kind of are what they are. Mine is a black on black and actually when I was looking up, you know, to just read over any details that I should look at, is actually sold out on the site and I heard that these do sell out. So if you're ever on that site, you should just pick it up if you're looking for it. I went with black because I think that, well, it can go with anything and you know, it's classic and you just can't go wrong. And I'm really, really happy with, with this inside and out. So the inside is a beautiful suede leather. There is no, it's, there is no, no pockets or anything. So just the pouch, which is connected also, but you can remove it. And then there are these little leather straps that are also attached and I am assuming so you could tie it. I probably won't use those, but overall, I'm actually really happy with this. It is big, but it is gonna do what I wanted. I also love how like malleable it is. So I would, I would expect this to last like the rest of my life. Like I think this is gonna be a real hearty bag and I love that it's black so I don't really have to worry about getting anything on it. And you know, with my other leather purses, usually I just use a microfiber towel if I get any like coffee or dirt on them and I find that works really well. Um, but overall, a really, big, a really big bag, really beautiful bag, not a whole lot to, tell you about because it's pretty minimalistic. So I would say the draw to this type of purse, one is gonna be the size, the name brand, and rare for me to say, I actually am very impressed with the quality. I'm usually not impressed with a lot of the luxury brands quality. I mean, they're nice. It's not that I don't like them, but the way that some people rave about stuff and then I get it and I'm like, it's just a regular leather purse. This one is really nice. It's really nice. I Maybe all totes are like this and I, I don't have one like this. So I have, I actually, I'll insert some pictures. I have a Louis Vuitton, I don't even know what it's called, bag that I consider a bag. That was a big bag I carried for a while. And then I have a really big coach bag that also you know can fit my iPad and things in it. And that is, a little more structured. So this is my only other big bag and it's completely different, obviously completely different color, completely different style. So I think this will be a great addition to my collection and really happy with it. So this is the East West and I did get this again, so it can fit a laptop and a water bottle and all of the things and still have a slouchy look. I know they have the North north south one that is really popular and that comes in a few sizes but this you know i did a lot of research and deciding you know which one to choose and regardless of what's trending i always go on the site and i pick what i like as as should you and i think this one is going to be just perfect so i think maybe after some time i may do a follow-up after i get some use out of it and let you know how it's going uh, but overall yeah really happy with this and hopefully this video was helpful. All right, ladies, I hope that this video was helpful, that you got a little bit of a closer look at this gorgeous bag. And I wanted to thank you so much for stopping in and spending some of your time with me. I really do appreciate it. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like so that YouTube will press it out to more people that it may potentially help. I hope that you have a really great day and I hope to see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.